Hello everyone, this is Johnny. Welcome back to my NASAC YouTube channel. Today's video is going to continue my Psychotic Secret Server version 10.9 lab. Look at my tech topology here. There's a uh, Psychotic Secret Server version 10.9 installed on 192.168.2.243 integrated with my domain controller. 192.168.2.12 I have Windows 7 workstation acting as a client in this video I'm gonna show you the discovery feature from a psychotic secret server like gonna log into domain controller and the Windows 7 ultimately discovering uh, accounts local account the domain account on those machines So this is my psychotic secret server. To enable this feature, discovery, it's similar like uh, what I did for other security feature, session monitoring, or a uh, heartbeat, remote password changing. You have to enable it, and then configure it, and then test it, three steps most likely. And of course, you can do more things like uh, set up rules. You can do extensible discovering. You can define discovery template, those kind of things, scan template. Um, as you can see from this screen, the discovery hasn't been configured. There is nothing set up in the configuration page. Um, we even didn't enable it yet. So to do like enable discovery, um, we can just simple click check mark um, for those options. You can keep it default. There's some option here such as lures. You can set up a uh, importing lure once you found um, privilege account. Um, you can automatically import it into your repository. You can do intensible discovery and uh, you can set up your scan template. Um, for this video, it's going to be simple and basic. It will just tell you how to set up a discovery, enable it, configure basic scanning, that's it, and then scan the network and find out uh, what you have. So this uh, create this discovery source has to be defined by default. They supporting Active Directory, Unix, VMware, ESXi environment, AWS, and the GCP those two cloud environment. And surprising, Azure is not showing here. In this lab, I'm going to do Active Directory. So let's do fifty one sec. Test.dev discovery. Um, here is a full qualified domain name. That's your domain name here. That's 51 sec test. Friendly name. You can put anything. 51 sec test. So make sure it's active. And you need to have a discovery secret. You can create a new one, but um, we already have um, administrator admin two, so we can use administrator account for testing purpose. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't has to be uh, domain admin, but uh, just some service account. You can read the domain Active Directory. That should be enough. But uh, um, to make it simple, I'm using that administrator account right now. So discovery site is local site. I don't have any satellite site here. I don't have specific OU. I'm going to scan whole, whole environment, all OUs. Um, you can enable LDAPS for testing purpose. You don't have to. Uh, previously, I already created the one, um, as you can see it here. Um, I put it on uh, in active mode. So what we can do is uh, we can add it 
we can directly enable it so then you can have it you don't have to create another one so we do have ID scan we created that and we have our discovery logs that's coming from previously discovery log and the computer scan log Um, after you configure your discovery source, you can start to do run discovery now. Now you can do a discovery scan and run computer scan. So just now they doing a discovery scan. So last time. So after you run this in twenty four hours, they will because we set up a long interval is uh, per day so to take daily so we're gonna look at the logs here discovery queue to the engine finish it starting data integrity check let's find out the first log we did in this discovery we started around 554 this is the first one and discovery they did the integrity check and then they doing discovery started and then the processing discovery for long now So since it's running and uh, we don't want to wait, I can show you the discovery result. You can directly go to discovery network view to see what is has been discovered in your network. Uh, there's computers, there's domain controllers, and all users. So here is all users, they found it. So we have admin 1, admin 2, admin 3. So you can see admin 2 had been mapping to the secret in secret server repository. We already have that one. And also admin 3, we found it in our secret repository as well. Administrator also is mapping to our administrator secret. So it shows manage it manage it and for admin 3 the heartbeat failed from here there's another page second page there's more account being found from here we can do import so let's do this we're gonna import version 10 admin 1 2 3 the world admin 1 2 and uh, we select four of them, then we do import. Also, you can do create a loot for them. All containing admin in users, then you can use in this tool, you can set up like that. If you found anything at uh, ADM in the user's account, then you're gonna import it. That's the rule for us, for the demo, in this lab I just do import we're gonna use a folder a secret type which is um, a secret template which secret template you're gonna use I can use some 51 sec AD account template and the folder we're gonna put into um, AD admins and the secret name will be domain slash username the site will be local will be next and I know the current password. Next. Next. So here the password changing. Once you imported those passwords in the future, um, when you 
rotating those passwords, which account you're going to use for the rotating the password. You can use a privilege account, or you can use a current account, the account itself. So right now, I can just do using administrator, finish. You cannot save this type of security in this folder. You just do username. Finish. Let's look at the folder permission. Folder. Oh, allowable template is Active Directory account. So we need to change this template to um, just add another one. Say, and now we go back to our discovery again. Discovery network view. Gonna import those two accounts. Select uh, this template. Select the folder. Next. We're gonna use a uh, secret administrator to do the password changing. Finish. So now we are doing import account. There were no errors and the bulk operation completed right away. Close. So we can take a look at the folder to see what's in there right now. So we got two extra accounts right now from a 51 sec. We are using template 51 sec AD account and the folder name. Hub it was failed. We can do one thing, we can do change password now. We can do the change to random password. A heartbeat with success. Now success. So that's how you do the discovery and that's how you import it, the discovered account. You can do more things such as extensible discovery, and you can configure scan template, and you can check the discovery logs and computer scan logs. Here is the domain cloud account that I found it. If you want to see local account, so domain controller DC1, you can send search at dom DC1 dog, and then you will find the other computers here as well. But for the local account, we didn't find any local account yet. That's pretty much everything for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.